Hi folks, we're going to take a look at this question on matrices. So they want us to determine the values of A uh, that make this matrix singular. And uh, so we know that uh, in order for a matrix to be singular, its determinant must be equal to zero. Okay, so that's going to allow us to set up an equation here. So we'll take the determinant of this matrix. So A2, negative 2, 2A, 2A, 2, A4 minus A, and A minus 6 and the determinant has to be equal to zero. Okay, so let's get started here finding the determinant of this matrix. Okay, so let's start our first term is gonna be the top left corner, so A times, and we, um, uh, we sort of hide this row and this column, and we multiplied by the determinant of that remaining two by two. Okay, so let's do that here. We have two A times A minus six, and then minus two times four minus a. Okay, so now the next term, remember that the signs alternate. So now I'm gonna be subtracting the next term two and multiplying it by the determinant of the remaining two by two matrix when I cross out this column and this row. So it's gonna be two a times a minus six. Okay, and then minus two times a. Okay, and lastly, so now again, it's going to be plus this term here, but since I'm adding a negative number, it'll just be minus 2 times, and now the determinant of this remaining 2 by 2 matrix. So 2a times 4 minus a, okay, minus 2a times a. And all that has to be equal to 0. All right, so let's start simplifying here. So let's do the brackets. So we've got a 2a squared, and I don't think we have any other a terms here. So 2a squared. So we, here we have minus 6a, and then we have a plus 2a. Uh, sorry, not minus 6. We have minus 12a, and then uh, here plus 2. Okay, so it's going to be minus uh, 10a. And then here we've got, uh, looks like minus two times four, so minus eight. Okay, very good. Let's move on to the next one, minus two. So here, what do we have? We have two a squared and no other squared terms. Okay, so here we've got negative 12 a minus another two. So that's gonna be minus 14 a. Okay, let's move on to the next one here, minus 2 times, what do we have? So we have 8a, okay, and no other a term, so 8a, and then here we've got negative 2a squared minus another 2a squared, so minus 4a squared. Okay, and all that's equal to 0, so let's keep going. So what do we have here? We've got 2a cubed uh, minus 10a squared minus 8a. Here we've got minus 4a squared uh, plus 28a. And here we've got minus 16a uh, plus 8a squared. All right, so only one cubic term, so 2a cubed. Let's look for the quadratic term. So here we got negative 10 minus 4 is negative 14, okay, plus 8. That's going to be minus 6a squared. Okay, and let's look for the a term. So we have negative 8 plus 28 is 20. Uh, minus 16 is going to be plus 4a. And that's everything, so equals 0. And now we've got a fairly easy equation to solve. So let's factor out the 2a here. So we're left with a squared minus, um, minus 3a uh, plus uh, 2, okay, and here we got 0, and this factors nicely, so 2a, and what do we have? We have a minus 1, uh, a minus 2, okay, and there we have uh, our solutions, a equals 0, a equals 1, and a equals 2, okay, so just to recap here, uh, we know that a matrix is singular if and only if its determinant is equal to zero. So just took the determinant, set it to zero, did my algebra, and it turns out that we had three possible values uh, to give us a singular matrix. Okay, that's it for this one.